looking for a submission finish. And Neil has to pick his poison here. Either he rolls towards his left to try to get that body triangle off, but if he does that, then he exposes the choke more. Maya looking for his seventh submission victory inside He's the tapping. octagon. He's, He's got tapping. it. Damian Maya, winner by submission. Note how he does this, Mike. He sets up the hook. Look, he's got the one arm trapped. See how he's got the right arm trapped? Then he throws the right leg into play. Gets that body triangle. Puts that butterfly underneath the left knee. Now Neil's in trouble. He's got the body triangle constricting down on Neil's body, squeezing on that rear naked choke, and Neil Magny's just, just done there. In the crocodile's jaws. Saul Paulo zone, Damian Maya. Very smooth transition. Herman's starting to find his rhythm a little bit here. Right, except he's caught another triangle. This may be the end. This fight. I think this is the end, Goldie. It's tight. It's and wrapped Herman up very gets tight. Out of this. Wow. He spins. Right in the mouth. Still has it. Herman's in trouble. He's going to have to tap her. He's out. Maya pounding away. He is out. He is it out. Is out. Maya is a genius on the ground. There's nothing, no else way to describe it. That was unbelievable. Here it is, it was a beautiful setup. He had his right foot on the hip, kind of coaxed him into passing the guard, flopped right into that triangle. Herman tried to roll out of it. Unfortunately, he rolled himself into the mount. Brutal choke. He, had, he was actually out. Maya kept throwing punches, but he went out. He was knocked out He's from out right the there. choke. Yep. It was the choke that knocked Herman out. It was not the punches. Fourth degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt on your back. Here early, fresh, no sweat yet. Very dangerous. He is so hard to shake out of this position. Ricky Lundell right there next to Condit, his wrestling coach, his grappling coach. This is bad. This is where he finished Matt Brown. He only needed one arm. Can and he, he just... get it? Here it comes. Damian Maya chokes out Carlos Condit. Just like that. Damian Maya goes in for the high crotch, and he's gotten really good at his adjustments on his takedown attempts. Once he gets Carlos flat, starts working it's in half guard, and from there, he got the mount, transition to the back, and he's so dangerous here. You, traditionally, you need to see a guy lock this choke up, have their form under your chin. Maya doesn't need to. He squeezes so hard from the sides and he actually shuts off the blood flow from the sides of your neck. He does not need to be completely under the chin. And there you see the tap. There's just no choice. He's just that good. Oh, beautiful takedown. Oh, and right, right into a triangle position. If he gets his right leg underneath Chael Sonnen, he is in a triangle. Look at that. Bam! Oh. That's it. How good That's is Damian Maya? That's how good he is. Sonnen trying to survive. He's pulling ahead and it's all over. That's how good Damian Maya is. Unbelievable. And this is what happens when you get just a, a top of the food chain Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt in the octagon. I mean, this is a guy that's been competing against the very best in grappling for most of his life. And look how smooth that, that triangle is, how he locks it from the mount, rolls over, Sonnen just falls right into the spider web, gets sucked into it, pulls down the head, Sonnen forced the tap. Let's look at it again here, Mike. I mean, I'd like to see it from the takedown because the takedown was a work of art in itself, but the smooth transition that he makes, as soon as he gets down to the ground, he's got one leg past the arm already, and his son and tries to roll into the top position where he's more comfortable, he falls right into the trap and gets submitted. Just beautiful jujitsu. Not only is Lyman good fighter in the hands, he's also carrying the weight of Damian Meyer, which is putting a lot of strain on the legs and the back. Good composure here, though, from Lyman Good. Absolutely. 25 professional fights. He's doing the right things, he's staying calm, he's fighting the hands. Single leg transition to a double. 
Lyman Good went down for here, the battle for a couple of minutes, but then ultimately he gave up his back. Damien Myers sunk the hooks in. Lyman did a great job of staying on his feet, fighting the hands for a while. But against a guy like Damien Meyer, it's just a matter of time before you tap. As I said before, he's built an entire career of doing this, of choking people, of squeezing people, of crushing their souls.